for Doppler 7 weather. 444 right now, a look at the west side here in Albuquerque. Cloudy skies, but you're noticing nothing actually falling from the sky. Very different story as you head east into New Mexico. If you are traveling, maybe you have loved ones traveling this morning, please, please be careful. Give yourself a lot of extra time. And if you're headed to places like Clovis, even Hobbs, I would say probably wait until at least this afternoon, maybe even tomorrow. 41 right now in Albuquerque, and it is quite windy. That's going to be the big story in the metro today is that wind. You you can see the southeast winds continuing pretty much all day long, and that's probably going to eat up our chances there for some moisture. So I don't think we'll see a whole lot of snow in Albuquerque, but for places that don't see the wind around the metro area, places like Santa Fe, places like Rio Rancho, you likely will see some flurries. Santa Fe actually expecting some accumulating snow into tonight, one to two inches possible. This is a big band of moisture, you guys. So if you are traveling maybe by air this morning, you'll need to watch for that. Flight patterns already a little bit tricky going into Chicago, places across. The Midwest and the Plains. Back here at home, we mentioned that Clovis Hobbs area. Well, we have seen a lot of ice uh, storms in the last 12 hours or so, snow falling as well. Places like Santa Rosa, difficult travel, I 40 east into that Texas border. That moisture will continue here for the next uh, 24 to 48 hours, looking to improve tomorrow, midday. You can see all the watches, warnings, advisories we have going on right now. That winter storm warning in pink right now. We have a winter weather advisory for areas in purple, so this includes the Sandias and the Manzanos. And then that ice storm out toward the eastern part of New Mexico going into the panhandle of Texas. We rarely see things like an ice storm warning here in New Mexico, but it's happening this morning. Again, accumulating snow possible for those of you across eastern New Mexico. This is, again, that quadrant we're really going to be keeping an eye on. Don't expect it to really filter into the uh, metro area into tonight, but we're not going to rule it out. I'm going to step out of the way, take a look at the wind chills. These are your feel like temperatures for today. So single digits in Clayton to start 23 in Farmington, 24 in Grants, 31 in Albuquerque, 22 in Roswell. A lot of you may be looking at this, and then the corner of your screen says 42. Again, 42 is a real temperature, but when you factor in the winds, it's feeling like it's below freezing here in the metro area. This is what it's going to look like for today that 12 hour planner, breezy to windy conditions. Those winds, again, gusty at times coming in from the canyon. Temperatures will warm quickly to about 40 degrees midday, and then will drop very quickly throughout the afternoon. Todd?